Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jessica and I like to make videos that are lifestyle, beauty, fitness, and health related. So just anything I feel like. <laughs> um, today's video is going to be February favorites and my birthday is in February so you'll see some favorites are actually from gifts that I receive. And my first favorite came from my search to make traveling a little more efficient and a little easier. I just traveled to California, part of my birthday present, and I had the hardest time packing my suitcase. It took me like two hours for a three-day trip, and I just didn't feel like anything I had worked. So I'm starting my hunt for things that just make it easier to travel. And when I saw this at Ulta, I was so excited. I picked it up, no hesitation, put it in my basket, and it is a carrying case for a Real Technique sponge. It was like six dollars and you get a sponge maybe it was a little more than that but this is what it looks like with a brand new sponge in it and I do have a used sponge I just didn't want it to be gross but maybe I'll show you it fits a fully dampened used uh, makeup sponge in there as well and I was so excited for this because normally I wrap mine in like paper towels or a plastic bag or something that just doesn't seem like as sanitary whereas this kind of thing you can wash so I was really excited to get this and I'm excited to travel with it. My next favorite is this mug from Anthropology. Every year I've been buying a mug around my birthday time because you get a birthday discount of like 10% or something like that on your birthday month. So I started a little collection a few years ago and this one I really like because of how wide the mouth is. It's a little bit bigger of a cup and I was nervous that my coffee would get cold because the mouth is bigger, but I find that it doesn't get cold and I don't spill my coffee as much because I don't know about you, but I move my coffee around <laughs> and take it with me as I'm getting ready so it's all around the apartment and I'm just constantly picking it up and constantly spilling it. And I found with this cup, I don't spill as much. So when you're a clumsy person like me, it's actually kind of nice. And it's really cute too. I love gold designs. And then this blue is so bright and vibrant. And after I got this, this quickly became one of my favorites for February. My next favorite is also from my birthday month. And it came from Sephora and the little goodies they give you for your birthday. And it is the lipstick that I'm wearing. It's from Bite Beauty and it's called Glossier. And this is what it looks like right here. And I really like this color. I usually like the lighter pinks more, but this one's just enough of a light pink that I ended up really liking this color as well. And this staying power is better than any lipstick I've ever worn, more than MAC or anything. So I was really excited to get something for free that works so great. Uh, then you go look at the prices and it is a little more high end than uh, normal drugstore prices. But I think it's really worth it because so far this has lasted me weeks of using and since it works so well, I think it's really worth the money. Next up is also by Bite Beauty and it also came from Sephora for my little birthday gift and it is the Agave Lip Balm and Agave Sugar Lip Scrub. I just got a little sample here and the lip balm is amazing, first of all. And then if you use the lip scrub with it, your lips are so soft. It helps take care of all the dead skin on your lips. Then your lipstick looks great. I put it on as I'm doing my makeup and it just seems to make lipstick apply better and last longer too. So I really liked that. And my last favorite, also a birthday gift, Everyone just did so well this month. I was very impressed. This is from my mom and she bought it for our trip to California and it is an Instax Mini 90. She also bought this cute case off of Amazon, but this is what it looks like. And I don't know if you're familiar with Instax or not. The photos you get from this, they are instant photos. They look like Polaroids. We'll just call them that for the sake of simplicity. And this model here is really cool because if you look at the back, there's actually a digital screen. This camera also produces really good quality Instax. And what I liked about the original Instax that I had, which is this guy right here, it's the Instax Mini 8. This is the Mini 90. Yeah, I skipped a few numbers there. Anyways, uh, what I liked originally was that when you took an Instax, it didn't look perfect, so it actually kind of made it a good photo no matter what you took a picture of. So I was hesitant 
using this one because I thought, well, if it's going to be so much better, then am I going to be more picky with how the photos turn out? But that wasn't the case at all. And since it does have a digital screen, it just makes it easier to use and you can see how many photos you have left. And I just, I don't know, I really like the settings on this one too. The quality is just so much better when you take your pictures and it's also really cute. It is uh, smaller too, not by much, but it makes a difference uh, when you're putting it in your purse or just carrying it in general. I'll show you how we display our Instax once we've collected quite a few. We put them in picture frames and we used to have them all in black frames and I've recently converted them to white frames. And you can see that it, depending on the frame size, you could put a whole trip's worth of photos in one frame. That one was Hawaii. And I really like that idea because then you can just see your photos all the time. They all fit in one small spot and it just brings such happy, memories up and good feelings and yeah anyways so those were all my favorites from february i didn't have too many i didn't really try out too many new things this month but for march i'm kind of excited because i have a lot of new things that i didn't want to put in this video just because i haven't tried them for very long and i want to give an honest opinion and yeah so i will put my instagram name here it's also my snapchat name i try to make everything the same and i hope you like this video if you haven't hit subscribe yet don't forget to do that and if you could do a thumbs up on this video it would really support my channel and i hope you're having a great day and i'll see you in my next video bye